This is Billy the Hat Burton, and I'm doing another entry of community commentary. I guess I could say I'm kind of interrupting myself from the work that I'm doing today. I was doing some research. And one of the beautiful things that I love about the community commentaries that we do is that when the thought comes, when an idea comes that needs to be expressed, since these commentaries are raw and they're not rehearsed, you just grab your portable recorder and record them right there on the spot. It allows the commentaries to be done at any given time of the day. So what I want to talk to you about now is membership or what is a member as it relates to the fingerprint community. One thing I can share with you is that this is really a passion of mine, something that is is, is really deeply rooted in my heart, the whole idea of membership and the idea of every single person being just as important as the other. No big eyes and little U's. The whole idea of membership in the fingerprint community really comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 12 in the Bible. It talks about the body parts and how there has to be eyes and legs and there has to be a nose and how supportive each body part is of the other. Some even cover the other. For instance, we have internal organs, the hearts and the lungs, the kidneys, the digestive systems, the cardiovascular systems, and all of those things. I'm not a doctor, but just naming things so that you can get a picture and an idea of what it is that, that happens when I begin to think of the fingerprint community. I actually think of the idea that, or the thought, that every single individual, I, and I know I've talked to some people about this and they've looked at me a little strange, but once we've talked for a while on and off, they, they get it too. And they like it. They understand it and they're with me on this. So here it is. I honestly believe that every single person on the face of this earth has at least one gift, you've probably heard me say this before, at least one gift given to them by God. It doesn't matter to me if you believe in God or not, you have at least one gift. And the chances are you have more than one gift. Now here's the thing, your gifts and talents are just amazing and remarkable. In those areas, if you would nurture these things and build these things you are a genius in these areas and I believe that your gifts and talents are what's supposed to earn you a living I believe that an arm needs the body the body needs the arm we need fingers we need toes have you, you ever noticed whether you think you're important or you're walking around in pride and arrogance or whatever it is, if you ever stub your toe on something, your whole body bends down and reacts to grab and take care of that one little toe that just got injured. Obviously, it needs the toe and the whole body feels it and it's important as it should be. The body's needed as a unit not separated and not one person floating off to their self thinking that they can do everything that they need to by their self. There are parts of the body that are used for lifting, other things for stability. Eyes, for instance, are used for watching out. A knee can't watch out for itself, nor can a toe necessarily be comforting, but a voice can be. Arms can be comforting. Hands touching you can be comforting. And 
we all need to get to the point, especially the way the world is right now, where we need more love, but we need to get to the point where we understand that we're all important and we're all needed by each other. There's, there's names attached to these body parts, whether it's Beth, who could be a heart, or Thomas, maybe you're a leg. Wayne, maybe, just maybe, you're a neck. So without you, the head that moves around with the eyes in it wouldn't be able to see where it's going. Karen, maybe you're those arms that we just talked about that can hold on to somebody and hug them and comfort them. Heather, who knows, maybe you're the long flowing hair and that helps bring beauty to the to the body, to the, to the head, to the appearance, the, those first impressions, the first appearance that somebody has of you, makes all the difference in the world. Monica, maybe you are the legs that helps to get the body where it's going. <laughs> then Robert, maybe what you are is the fingers or the whole hand, we don't know that grips and holds tight those things that's necessary that helps the body climb and move or swing something or whatever needs to be done. Just giving examples. It's interesting. It makes me think of something else also. Have you ever been sitting in front of a, a nice, comfortable, warm, fuzzy, burning fire? And all of a sudden, you may have a glass or a screen there in front of the fireplace, but all of a sudden an ember or a twig or a smaller piece of whatever's in there jumps out onto the floor. Now for a while, it will keep burning. And if you go to touch it, it will still be burning. It's alive, it's hot. However, something else that you have to notice is that over time, if it stays away from the rest of the fire, it starts to cool off. It can't hold the heat and do what it needs to all by itself. It needs the rest of the logs and the fire and the embers and everything else burning in order to keep its own flame going. Here's something I want you to consider. Just as a brain is surrounded by a skull and a head, as we get wiser we notice that smart people tend to surround themselves with other people who have gifts and talents that they don't. Why do you think that is? If you study the biographies and autobiographies of those who have been wealthy and successful, you'll find that they understood that they couldn't do everything. They didn't know everything. And none of us do. It's all about the body. And it's all about the community. It would be beautiful, so beautiful, if as you're listening to this, you take it to heart. Don't take it as, I don't, I don't even know, some kind of, what, gibberish or rambling on or con or something. It's so far from that until, as the old folks used to say, my grandparents used to say, you could make a whole nother world with what it is that we don't know. So really I'm appealing to you through the commentaries. There'll be some teaching in the commentaries, which I hope there's been some teaching of some sort in this commentary. There's the sharing of information. There's that encouraging you and pulling at you and drawing you, hopefully, to let you know that the community needs you and you need the community. Talk to people. Communicate back and forth yourself with them. You have issues. It's time to come out of, out of the shyness, out of the drawing back and thinking, I'm gonna research and study. And yes, you're supposed to do all of these things and do your best at it work as hard as you can at it but there is help 
we're all here to help each other. I need you. And hopefully you need me. There's people in the community coming and going as as we hope the, the community just grows phenomenally and catches on like wildfire so that people understand that all you have to do is ask and somebody is there ready willing and able to help you with whatever your particular situation is especially as it relates to your gifts and talents and the nurturing or mentoring of them so that you and everyone else can grow to where they need to be to earn a living off of these things. Talk to us, talk to others in the community through your comments and through your questions. Find the help that you need right here in the fingerprint community. There's a constant debate that's still going on as I wrap this up about whether or not content or design is king. You see that all over social media. You see it all over the internet. It's just about whatever page or website or community that you go to. I say community is king. That's it for this time. And we'll talk to you a little bit later.